Stage left, ready. Stage right, ready. Sideways Stories from Wayside School is a show that I've loved for a really long time, and every year um, I say to Donna, we should, you know, let's, let's consider this show. It's a particular genre that, of theater that um, takes a lot of great skill to master um, in terms of creating character and comic timing and staging and design elements, and so we thought that it would, op you know, provide a ton of opportunities, not just for the kids in the show to learn, but the kids who were designing as well to create a wacky, colorful world that was um, something they could feel proud of. So it's about a school, Wayside School, um, and it's about a classroom of kids, and these kids have a horrible teacher that turns them into apples, and they get a new teacher, and this new teacher turns their life upside down, sideways stories, you know. <laughs> and it's all about the 30th floor and this teacher and the kids. So when they came to the decision to do Wayside, it was between two different plays, and they ended up doing Wayside, um, the comedy, because they thought we needed a change, which is good. Yeah, no, I mean, this was all over the place. One thing about Benny Williams is he's really bad at direction. So I'm great at listening to direction. She's just very quiet and not very assertive. Not true. That's a lie, actually. She's the boshiest person you'll ever meet. Me. Probably my favorite part of uh, of doing this show um, is when Donna told me to smack my butt um, for uh, when I for one of my exits. Um, and I just, I like how Donna can be so funny in that way and offer up these funny things for me to do on stage. And I think it's a really funny part of the show and I really enjoy it. Lewis is a really zany character. He's the gym teacher. In the show, there's basically two groups of people. There's the adults and there's the kids. I discovered that Lewis is really in between those two worlds. And I try to play that as much as I can being part of a kid, part of the kid that's still inside me and inside Lewis and also the adult that he is in the, in the universe. I shined her up in my shirt, and I ate her, and you know what else? She was sour, too. I drawed some inspiration from, uh, from Scooby-Doo, Shaggy. His voice is um, kind of the inspiration, but also just a lot of, I've had a lot of weird gym teachers, so I think that really in informed a lot of my decisions. So the mustache is a fiasco. But they just glued my mustache to my face. It was pretty unpleasant. Um, so basically, after the show, I have to rip it off and wax my upper lip and then scrape the glue out of my face. Gosh, look at the time. Gotta get the balls ready for recess. The kind of work that goes into putting this in, it's a huge team effort between everyone, um, the production team, the cast, the crew, everyone this year, which is different from how we've done in the past, has put on a crew, whether it's like makeup, hair, uh, sound, lighting, set. So everyone has a piece into making the production as a whole, which is really cool. Hi, I'm Andrew Kyra, and I play Mrs. Gorf, Dr. Pakel, and Miss Felouche. The cool thing about playing three parts is that each part has to have a very, very specific and very different style. They have to hold themselves differently, they have to talk differently, walk differently, they have to be three separate people. Playing two female roles really breaks the boundary of my comfort, and I think my two female roles are very cool with characters that I get to experiment with, because usually as a male actor you play male roles. 
Well, when you're a male actor and you play female roles, that really improves and really helps you work with styles of character, the way that your voice is different, the way that your body is different. Mrs. Gorf is the evil witch of a teacher, and she's very nasal, and she points, and she's very bony. That's right. I was going to turn Bibi into an apple, and soon I'll have enough for a fly. <laughs> Dr. Perkel was a doctor, and is no longer a doctor because he was stripped of his license. At Wayside School, he is the school guidance counselor and he works on improving kids' problems and helping them through tough situations. Class, everyone, I'd like you to meet Mr. Pickle. Oh, <clears throat> actually, ich bin uh. Mr. Pickle is Wayside School's new counselor. Can we give him a 30th floor welcome? Hi, Mr. And Miss Walouche is the world famous fiery Latin American dancer, and she comes into Wayside School and she teaches these kids how to tango. Welcome. My name is Miss Walouche. Wow. It's so wonderful to be here at Wayside School. I think we are going to be friends, yeah? yeah. All right, so we had a bottle of spirit gum, and um, All right, so I think it's pretty self-explanatory from there. Like okay. So why is that a problem? Um, because spirit gum is sticky stuff, and sticky stuff sticks to stuff, such as your clothes, your dog, your hair. How do I what? How do you clean it up? How do you clean it up? Alcohol. Using rubbing alcohol. You. What is your name? Myra. I need an answer. You, as a king, who rules the ballroom of life. Being a senior playing an elementary schooler isn't as hard as you think it would be. I, I, I'm very connected to the younger roles as opposed to the older roles. I just find it's easier to draw upon my past and my future. And I just like having the fun spirit because kids, they're always having the fun spirit and they always just are looking forward to what's next. And I just love having that youthful energy. My biggest challenge for this show, I would have to say, is how physical it is because I've done a lot of physical acting before, but this is the most physical I've ever had to be and it's just an exhausting show, but it's very rewarding. My character, Myron, he is one of the students in the classroom and he's the kind of know-it-all student. He's the one, he's like the goody two-shoes, he does all his work, but he also has a very big problem with pulling pigtails. There's this one character, Leslie, that sits in front of him and her pigtails are just so tempting. <laughs> Very yeah! What happened? Myron pulled my pigtail! I can't help it! Every day I sit behind Leslie looking at her pigtails and they call to me. Tell Leslie you're sorry! Do I'd like to announce the first school. There will be two others, and again, in no particular order. So from Framingham, for Sideways Stories from Wayside School.